Now take this sheet, each one of you, and do this activity for the second approach. So let's discuss the solution for this one. So here, the first instruction is same, first and second instructions are same. And then we are loading x20 with the value 100, which we are supposed to be doing. And then this is the unconditional branch. Go to test means no matter what, we have to jump to test. So we can use the eq x0, x0 and test, OK? So it will directly jump to test. What is it going to do next is it is going to check the condition x18, which is i, is less than 100. If i is less than 100, this condition satisfy, it will jump to loop. OK? And then it will execute the instruction sum plus i plus equal i, and then i plus equal 1. And then it will come down to instruction this one again. It will again check the test. As long as it's satisfied, it will keep looping back. Once the i value of i becomes greater than 100, this condition will not satisfy, which means that it is not going to take a branch loop. OK, so what it will do, it will execute the next instruction, which is written in order. OK, and it will exit the loop. 